So today I'm going to be doing a quick unboxing of the i5-4590 and this ASUS B85ME CSM board. You might be going like, Brandon, or Electronic Society, didn't you just get a, a AMD8350 answers? Yes, but my motherboard stopped working with it. So that's kind of like, a, I returned it, got everything back for it, and decided, eh, if I have to do a new platform, I might as well go Intel, not AMD again. So we're doing the processor first, it seems like. CPU is actually right here. I've opened one of these before. Apparently these skills don't. Here's the CPU cooler. That's pretty wussy. That's really wussy. Okay. CPU is hidden in here. There you go. Here's the actual chip. Not much really to see. That's a cute little i5. You might say, why didn't I get the K edition? I can't overclock. I don't really need to overclock. I don't really want to. I just want something that works. I don't really care for it. There's a manual in the box and you get the little sticker with it and warranty and for nothing else really. Here's the board. I would have gotten the cheapest i5, but they didn't have that one in stock. But it was 50 bucks cheaper. I was really hoping to get that. Here's the board. Kind of nice. This body lifts off. We'll open the board and look at it in just a second. Let's see if there's anything else in here. I really don't need anything. Manual, I.O. shield. Oh, look at that. No color. This brings you back to the days of the 90s. Oh, this thing. Apparently we have a SATA cable. That's it. One SATA cable. No, two. You got a right angle one. Never had a right angle SATA cable before. So that's the first. Driver disk. I wish they'd just give you like a USB or even better, just a download. But that's really it. I'm gonna be using this mainly in my editing machine, so I'm not really that worried about a lot of this. So that's it's I'm mainly doing editing, so I don't really care about stuff like overclocking and yellow shiz. So there you go. Here's the buddy. Well I'm hoping he's gonna work. See the board, definitely a smell of new board, VGA DVI, HDMI display port, PS2. Still have that USB 3, USB 2, more USB 2, and audio. It's not as high end of a, the last part I had, but it'll work. I don't really mind. There you go. Nice pretty socket. Do a quick video of installing the CPU, and then we'll keep continuing. So let's install this thing. Fairly easy. There's probably a ton of videos on the net of how exactly to open this and do this, but you know, here's mine. How do you open these CPU cases? I guess the only real thing to be worried about, make sure you line this up. See these two little things? They gotta be lined up right here. And it should just fit back in, and this thing should pop out. Well, I should just pop it out now. I don't know. I've never installed Haswell before. This is Haswell. Yeah, there it goes. It requires quite a bit of force. And that buddy's in. I'll do bam in just a second. So here I am installing RAM. Really, I would do dual channel and stuff, but eh, it doesn't matter because I have three sticks. Putting this guy here. This guy is going right here. And this guy gets to go right here. Hopefully it'll work in dual channel, but it probably won't. One more thing to install, it's the CPU cooler. I'm using a stock cooler right now just because it works. And I really don't need any extra performance and cooling, especially since I can't overclock these chips. Essentially, I'll set it up. Push. 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 And plug the little buddy in right here. Where it says CPU fan right here. There you go. That's plugged in. That's good. I guess there's not much more on this board to look at. Here's my basic little test bench right now. Got the CPU in here, the graphics card, and my monitors, and everything. Should just boot up and work. I'm gonna go plug in this hard drive to this slot right here. This is using the B85 chipset, so there's only two, four SATA 6 connectors, which is more than enough for anything I can do. Flipping on that power supply, and let's short out these pins. Hopefully, the correct ones. There it goes, it's booting, a little green LEDs on. Here I am powering it on for the second time. 
because it's the first time I did it, I didn't plug in my graphics card. This little six pin connector right here. Oh, I didn't turn on my power supply. Yeah, I'm making mistakes like there's nobody's business. So there you go, now those fans are spinning. CPU, little Intel fan does that thing. Hopefully the monitors, yep, they say they're on, Asus. I'm gonna just let it boot and hope it gets, cause I have a driver for Linux plugged in. Let's just hope it does it. We'll find out though. So I've been running it for a little bit. This is max CPU usage at the stock cooler. That, you can't hear it. That's the hard drive that you hear. There you go, it's maxing out at about 70 degrees, which is not bad. 